What's up, y'all? Why do I sound so country right now? Just country. That's so funny, like you think that you'd be able to. What's up? What's up, what's up? What's up? It's Friday! Well, happy Saturday in Australia and the UK, right? Is it already Saturday in the UK? I think so. I need to get something to drink. I was coming here to see you guys and I need something to drink. happening y'all oh I need to clean this area I really wanted to clean this before Erica got home and I have been painting some I should just say a stairway not the stairs I painted the side of the stairway I haven't painted the stairs yet because I need to be fixed first what's up Shane Here, I'll show you guys. We'll see if you can see it. I recorded one side. The other side, I didn't record. Um, it's very bright. Let's see if you can see. Oh, that's too bright. And it's kind of hard to understand, but this image is go, going down the stairway. I don't know if you can even see that. Here, I'll just show you the whole stairway. That's, that's going down, but I painted the sides, both sides. You'll see the video. <laughs> it's hard to take a picture of it because it's a very narrow st uh, stairway. So it's very difficult to take just a photograph of it. No, Mike, that's a stairway at OEP. Mike, you've been there a couple times, all right? Oh my gosh, I gotta show you this. She just sent me a picture of Bowie in the swimming pool. Look at him, he looks like a little, <laughs> he looks like a little homeless kid. That's too funny. Yes, Mike, the one, I'm pretty sure you fell down the last part. Cause if you would have fell down the first part, yeah, we probably would have had to call the ambulance. So, here's to a Friday. Here's to you guys. Here's to me getting those stairs done. Um, I wore a respirator the whole time. It's, it's amazing when you spray paint because at first you're like, Ugh, I can't wear this thing. And then you just get used to it. And then you really love it because when you take your mask off, it's just spray paint. You're like, there's no way I could not wear this thing like you definitely need to wear a respirator when you're spray painting tink tink sippy sippy or soppy soppy as tz would say <laughs> oops soppy tz have you been getting into the moonshine i'm just playing all right, so let's just get right into this. We're going to go ahead and uh, I've been wanting to do black and gold. So the black and gold really didn't do well yesterday on the... Uh, here, I'll go get it. I forgot. I forgot about that. Let me go get that piece for you guys. Oh, yeah, I put it in the window. So it would heal up faster. And I, 
I took I took it out just because um, let's just give you guys the uh, overhead. So I'm gonna do a black and gold and this I want to say magenta and I don't even know how to say this color. Serious? Series? I don't know. It's by Color Passion. So let's get into this one today. I'll be right back. All right, so this is sideways. Maybe I should do it sideways because my hat, I feel like my hat's gonna get in the way. All right, we got all kinds of stuff here. All right. We're gonna use Color Passion. Yeah, this will be easier. However you say that. We're gonna use Just Resins Black. And then we're gonna use uh, the Montana liquid gold. I'm not going to use any paste uh, for this so because it just sank. Like I'll show you this. This is that piece from yesterday. Man, that is dark, isn't it? Is it dark or is it just me? hard to see it. Man, that's pretty dark. Um, yeah. It all just sank to the bottom. And this is art coat, so this is pretty soft still. But I mean, it fits on the bottle of wine. Let's see if you can put it on the bottle of beer. Yep. <laughs> so that works. So I'm not gonna, um, and I got this out without tearing this one. Um, the, uh, the guy hit me back yesterday or last night and said, thank you for your feedback. We definitely need to make um, our molds thicker so hopefully that will work for him and hopefully you know he got some sales out of it if uh, people want to kind of just practice with those it's a fun little thing to practice with so we're going to be using stone coat countertop art coat it's a two or i'm sorry a one to one i don't know why two to two that's what i'm thinking i don't even mess with two to two one to two. So I'm just going to spray paint this edge of this black right here because it's going to be black. And I think that I'm going to want to put uh, gold leaf around this. I think that'll be fun. Yeah, Erica's in. Uh, sorry, I should have uh, I should have introduced myself. I am Jeff Thornton. Um, and normally there would be an Erica right here next to me or in front of the camera. Um, and we are artists till death. We are from Dallas, Texas. Um, and if you haven't subscribed, we, we would appreciate it tremendously. Um, Erica is in uh, Alabama right now visiting her mother and her sister. Her sister is going to be going away. Uh, she's a legal person for... Marines? Oh, I'm gonna get beat for that. Don't beat me for that, babe. Or Jessica. <laughs> it's she is in the military. She's a legal person, a, a uh, an attorney-ish kind of person for the military. 
and she's going, uh, she has to be deployed in a couple days, so she went to go visit her to, to uh, see her off and see her mom. She hadn't seen her mom in a couple months. All right, so I'm going to spray this black. This is just one of our cradle boards that we sell on our website, artiststilldeath.com. Uh, this is one of our framed ones. And the reason why we did the frame, what it is, is just basically a bevel inside, inside, uh, just a little inside, um, for one, to make a frame. Because why not? Why not already have your piece of artwork framed and you don't have to go spend money and, and, uh, <clears throat> and worry about that. And it looks nice. Um, and also, if you're pouring inside of this, you don't have to worry about it splashing off on the side and getting messy. It just falls right down in this little reservoir right here. Um, so if you prep it, make sure that you know you paint inside of there so it coordinates with what you're doing. Don't forget that. Because um, then you're just going to have to tape this off and paint the inside if you're going to be doing something else to it. So that's why I'm going to spray paint um, flat black. I'm just going to spray it around this because this is going to be black and I don't want the resin going over this edge here into this uh, and then, you know, being that tan color. So I'm going to go ahead and do that right now. Let me go open this window real quick. I just told you guys how I was safe today and used a respirator <laughs> while spray painting. So this is just for a second. So I have a window open. You want to make sure to spray the direction as well. You want to spray this way and you want to spray this way so that whichever way you hang it, you'll see your will be black or red or purple. if I'm not answering questions or looking up at your comments um, it's hard for me to do that and do this at the same time and normally Erica will do that or I will do that for Erica um, but if you do need a question answered or have a comment um, and if I miss a donation I apologize normally somebody will let me know that with a little red siren and then you will hear your siren and then we will say thank you very much for that <laughs> I know it's been asked before, but do you pour par A? Ah, S. Haley, that's that's a very common question, and um, we always tell people pour part B first because it's a lot thinner, as you can see. You can see it's very thin. So when you pour it into your bucket, let's say you, you're pouring this much, like a lot, right? And you pour part A. Part A is very, very thick. And if you, then if you fill it up and you're pouring part B on top of that, it's gonna be a little more difficult to stir and you don't want that hassle. You don't wanna sit there and you know possibly stir it and then drop it because it's a little more difficult to stir. Um, so when you pour part B in it, it's thinner, a little more easier to stir up. There's no science that doesn't you know, faster or slower setting time. That's just. Yep, Donna's right. Jasmine's right. All right, see there? So if you, if you need, you know, if you have a question or a comment or, um, or just want to say something, 
about something and I don't see it, then one of the mods will. That is the blue person with the little wrench. They will get to it, which I truly, truly appreciate. Um, and if you act up, they can put you in timeout. <laughs> All right. No need for that anymore. Um, let's see here. How's everybody's Friday and um, Saturday in Australia? What's everybody up to? All right. So this doesn't take too much because we're going to do just black. And then uh, we're just going to put accents of these colors, of this fun, I don't even know how to say it. That's how terrible of a reader I am. Is that really somebody texting me? Or is that Erica? Yeah, I know, there's no match to my finger. Or my phone. No. All right. I'm just gonna do some, I'll probably do a swipe on this. I'll probably do one of those old school, like a, a S form and do like a fun swipe and a fun swipe like that just to make it kind of fun and run some gold in there. I don't know, I always change my mind. <laughs> well, you do that, Donna Parker. It's your day, it's your birthday. Uh, what, huh? It's your birthday. Whose birthday is it? It's your birthday. <laughs> uh, it doesn't matter. It's it's uh it, it's just normally part B is thinner and it makes it easier to stir. But it's not a it's not a, a, a right or wrong thing by any means. All right, so let's make. We'll just do six ounces for this. Because, like I said, we're just doing accents on this here board. And that's one thing about having this black paper. <laughs> if you spray paint something, it really looks like you're just kind of spray painting paper. If you're painting the board, would you have gessoed it to prevent warping? Uh, Michelle, th this is uh, this is a pretty thick. This is a pretty thick uh, board here. There's not going to be any warping. Um, I think this is an 18. Um, but we we've, we've resined thinner. We have a quarter inch rounds, or we have our our. Uh, you know, our coasters, and we resin over these, and the, uh, we get no, there's somebody outside yelling outside my window. What? <laughs> you guys hear that? It is, it's very interesting living over here. <laughs> I wish I could take you guys to the window. We live, uh, where we live, let me show you. If you could see out that window, oh, it's too bright. Um, we live, uh, our, our building is, we live in a corner of our building. So we have windows on this side and we have windows on this side. And one is just open over there and one's open over here. So you hear everything. And there's a big parking lot back there. And people, sometimes they have a party back there. So we are on three, so we'll go to three. I'm gonna make this a little over too much resin for me. <laughs> and a little, I wouldn't call it a, a pro tip, but if you wanted, and if you can't remember which lid you had, or if you take them off, 
for one, don't take them off at the same time. Two, if you do, if you're just that way, because sometimes you forget, mark B on top and A on this one, unless you remember that this one is B and this one is A. I never remember, and but the bottles are slightly different, but I would definitely mark them on top if you're the type that will forget. But just, hey, you know what? I forget a lot, so. <clears throat> that drives me crazy when I hear that because that means something has gone off or there's no more live feed. Does anyone know what the best way to add gold leaf to a piece? Angela, I'm going to show you two things that, that you can use uh, for gold leaf. We use it all the time. Uh, when we have a bigger piece, uh, I use this stuff. Adhesive size. It's by Speedball. And it's, you put it on with a paintbrush. And you let it set for like 15 minutes or so, and then you put your leaf on and then you wipe it away. Or you can use spray adhesive for bigger areas. Um, and that works just fine as well. And that goes for gold leaf that's loose and gold leaf that's stuck to the carrier paper. That's not so messy. And if you're wondering about this resin that's been sitting here, uh, Stone Coat Countertops resin uh, their art coat is has a two-hour waiting, a two-hour waiting, a two-hour working time. I appreciate it, Vamp. Are you answering questions? I'm sorry. I'm just like looking up randomly. I appreciate it, Vamp. Hey, Vamp, what what do you think about that guy that I tagged you in the other day? Have you ever seen that person before? Uh-oh, here comes Kitty Cat. Here, let's see if you can hear. Hey, girl cat. Hi. What's up? Oh, now you don't want to talk. That little girl talks to me all the time. Oh, thanks. Thanks, Michelle. <laughs> Now, I need more light in here, I think. Let me see if I can turn these lights on. It's pretty cloudy out, so I figured, I figured we would have a little bit more light. Because um, it doesn't get dark till 8. That's a little better. Well, Haley, we'd appreciate that. Um, I'm going to put probably two or three designs um, on the website when Erica gets back that you can order. And we'll make it to where you can order it from a medium to, you know, two or three X or whatever size you are. Uh, we're even thinking about doing like, you know, baby shirts or something. I don't know. I don't really know what to buy for something like that, but yeah. And I hope you have a happy birthday. He's uh, every now and again he comes, he he shows up in my live or in my in my stream or my feed, and he's just all about himself. And he's just like, I think he's a rapper or a rock and roll guy or a. Honestly, I don't know. Like, he's, I hate to say strange, but, I mean, he's, he looks like he's straight from the movies. I would tell you guys who I'm talking about, but I can't remember his name. And I know that you wouldn't recognize him if he just walked down the street in his normal clothes. <laughs> like, he is a character from Hollywood for sure. I 
know this is way too much resin. All right, so we're gonna use uh, this gold. I'm not gonna put in. I'm not gonna put any of this gold into the resin. I'm just gonna kind of run it through. But I am gonna put some into. Uh, I'm gonna put some of this color in there. This is a fun color. If you guys just join me, I am using this color, which we sell on our website, artisttilldeath.com, um, and it's by Color Passion. Very nice, magenta-looking color. I hope that you, can, you guys can see that. Um, and we like to load it up. We do like to load our pigments up because I, I like it to be nice and vibrant and opaque. Let that people know. Just stir it up a little because sometimes it separates and I don't know how they make these pigments, so I want it to work. We're not going to be making a lot of that color because we're just going to be running it through it. So. And I'm just, I just put just a little bit in there. Thank you guys for answering those questions. Thank you, Nene and Vamp and Teresa. I think I saw Shane answering a question. Appreciate it, y'all. And I, 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 I'm not taking you for granted by any means, but I know that you are capable and you are awesome and I appreciate it. do this why don't we just do why don't we just put black in there and we'll save this for something that we might need <laughs> how does that sound boy cat you better step away always go where you're not supposed to and this is this is black by just resin we also sell this on our website I'm not gonna put a lot in there because I don't think it needs a lot of black right like that black is definitely very opaque See you, Mike. Have a good, good weekend, bud. Look how fast that mixed. That was very fast. And if you're from Australia and you guys don't want to deal with shipping, uh, a lot of these colors that, that we that we sell, uh, we get from Australia. We get just resin. We get color obsession. Um, Color Obsession is in Perth, Just Resin is in uh, Melbourne, right? In that area, in the, over there in the Gold Coast, I believe, that's what they say. Um, I apologize if I'm in the wrong. Um, uh, Just Resin has a million colors. They also sell their own resin, I, I believe it's called Diamond Coat. And if you need stone coat, I believe that Janice over at Color Obsession has it available. All right, so what I'm gonna do is just pour this right down on here. And I'm trying not to get it to the edge just yet. Because um, I want it to stay on here so I can make sure I have enough. And what I'm doing here, I'm not really, 
I mean, I am popping bubbles, but I'm just trying to make this a little bit, a little bit easier to put on this board. So if you heat it up, it becomes a little thinner, a little easier to, to put on here. And why does it feel like I have all kinds of garbage in here? Like it feels like there's dirt in here, which now I'm worried. <laughs> We're gonna have to do a top coat of this anyways because there's gonna be this gold on here. And I'm just putting it in the middle here. Man, you can't even see that with this black paper. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that they, they, they still carry it. Um, she orders quite a bit from him, so. Because a lot of people want it over there. So he has it shipped to her so that you know, you guys don't have to pay over in Australia so much for shipping. Alright, I need a rag, which somehow I don't have. Strange. And now I'm just worried about my cat jumping in this because it doesn't look like anything. <laughs> They're both sitting in front of me like Oh, we're coming that way soon. You better believe it. I like to have a rag with uh, alcohol on it just so I can wipe my hands so I don't get all my stuff dirty and um, sticky. That way I know I'm not, not going to stick to my hand when I... Yeah, I should just put a layer of that on here, huh? I think I'm just gonna put a layer of this black on on the frame so that I know it'll be nice and smooth. Man, that's a, that might be a little pro tip. Put a little smooth coat of resin on your frame if you're going to be, uh, you know, either painting it or putting gold leaf on it. Because you know when resin dries, smooth and solid and all you gotta do is just hit it with a little sandpaper if you want to paint on it make it stick give it a little tooth you know now ah what why are you yeah just wave a rag with uh, alcohol on it and then he's like mm -mm, that's no that doesn't smell good dude it does not smell good Right. I'm. Hey, Mike. Sometimes my phone will unlock. With my glove on. I'm like, mm hmm. All right, Samsung. I'm gonna put a little heat on this. Sometimes I like to do heat before, so that uh, if I am going to be uh, pushing pushing resin around, then I can just uh, I can make sure that I don't have to put heat all over it. Um, to pop the rest of the bubbles. Like right now, then that should be fine. Um, and then when I put this down and I can, I can, uh, you know, move that. Man, I can feel dirt. I don't know why I didn't wipe this off. Like I can feel it. I can see it. There's like just garbage in this. It's crazy. I guess I should clean my board better. 
All right, so what shall I do? I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to do kind of like a Dutch thing. I'm going to pour this in here and then I'm going to pour black right next to it and cover it and then blow it over. So let's try to do that. I'll put quite a bit on there. And then we're going to we're going to pour this black right next to this. And now see, just imagine if you did this on a regular board, all this resin would find its way off. And then you would be like, oh no, I wasted it all. But not really, because now it's just going to go down in this little reservoir. And you'd be all right. All right, so I'm going to heat this with a torch real quick. blow it over with the heat gun and this heats it up a little faster so now I know that it's a little thinner so when this heat gun goes on it'll just immediately start to blow over like that you can see it's moving Ooh, I should use I should have used the platter plus attachment. Well, this is going to be a super tilt for sure. Oh, yeah. This is going to be a super tilt. Look at that, it like sticks to the sides. Super fun. I love doing this. I love stretching it out. The colors throughout the whole piece. See, we try to tell you if you have a if you have an idea if you have like a plan with resin just have a plan but don't expect that you're going to be able to stick to it because resin has a mind of its own where are my tweezers at i need some tweezers give me some tweezers <clears throat> Sun on that a little bit. I'm gonna open up this light. Resin does what it wants. I do what I want. <laughs> yeah, there is so much trash in here. And this is the same thing. People say, ah, I don't understand how to keep out um, you know trash and hair and dust and bugs. Do like you do now. You're looking at it, you're babying it, you're making sure that they're getting all this out of there. Do that 20 minutes after you're finished with it. Do it an hour. Do it an hour and a half after you're finished with it. I'm gonna stretch this right here. I love how that looks like it's stretched right there. 
And that's the good thing about our coat is that you can heat up one area and not all of it's gonna move. You can tilt it and stretch it. Tilt it back the other way. Heat up where it was at so that this will stretch, so it'll move. This is very subtle. This is nice. I like this. Yeah, we're definitely going to have to put a flood coat on this because there's quite a bit of... That looks so fun. Very subtle. Very Halloween-y. <gasps> well, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I have to look and see who did that. Thank you, Booger Shay. Thank you very much. <laughs> I don't know who came up with the police line, but it matches. Like, it works. I get it. I think a couple times people are like, uh-oh, is somebody in trouble? What does the police siren mean? <laughs> All right. I don't know if I want to put gold in this right now. This looks so fun. This is one of those pieces where you almost just kind of want to uh, let it set and then the next day add something to it. I think that would be, that would be so much fun. Can you guys see that with that? That's probably a lot of glare on this camera right here. I apologize for that. Gold for it. <laughs> All right, I'm going to gold for it. I have some extra resin right here. What should I do with that? I'm gonna put a little gold in this. What I'm gonna do is just make a little spiky thing. Just broke one of these in half, clean that off. And I'm just gonna dip this right in here. Erica likes to pour it on a piece of paper and I'm like, meh, I'm just gonna dip it in it. It's Friday, we're just gonna dip it in. Jeff, use the red leaf. Oh yeah, that might look nice. Cats find everything and anything to play with. And I know what I think I'm going to do. And you guys are going to make me think I'm crazy, but let's see what this can look like. Splatter of gold. Ooh, kind of looks 80s, y'all. Fun. Let 
Let it flow. Let it flow. I'm gonna let this stretch without heating it so it gives it a nice a nice real good fade. Let's see if some of that cold will stretch over to there too. This ought to be a fun piece to draw on. I like that. That's super fun. And then we'll put a gold. A gold. Uh, we'll do that tomorrow. We'll do a gold leaf. Rim. Around it. Put a, a layer, just, and then do another layer of resin. Do a, we'll do a flood coat. Let's see if I can heat this resin up. Get that a little thinner to move. Danny Ham. Apologize for that, that's a friend of mine calling me. <laughs> and my, my hands are have resin all over else so I would answer it. Or at least turn it off. That's super fun. No, it's my friend Danny. Caller ID some coming up. <laughs> it's fun. It's nice and subtle. This looks like it belongs in Vamp's place. I like it. And then tomorrow, what we'll do is we'll do a uh, um, we'll do the frame and gold leaf, and then we'll do a flood coat. I think it'll look awesome. Yay, I like it. All right, let me take it to the dust, dust free zone. couple coasters here that we can make. Let's spray paint these black. You guys, I can't stress enough. We always let people know. Always, always make coasters. No matter if you're not planning on doing anything with them. You guys see how crazy our coasters go? People love to buy coasters. They're a great conversation piece. They're something that, you know, people love to walk away. They love to walk away with something at, you know, a little art fair. Um, hell, set up in your, out front, out front of your yard, out in front of the, your apartment complex in a hallway or something. Always, there's always something for somebody. 
Let's try to mix some of this gold in here. Have we tried that? We have, a long time ago. I don't know if that's gonna work though. All right, so we'll make some flip-flop. Do some red, and we'll put some black on that one, and then we'll do red on this one, and put black on this one. Uh-oh. Looks like we might need to make some more black. Not a problem. Thank you, Nene. Yeah, what's up with that, y'all? Can we get some can we get some thumbs up in here? Can we get a little thumbs up action? Alright. So I'll put some of this on this one. Put some of this on this one. We'll have like a flip-flop. Ooh. What if we did a smush? I like to do smushes. That's what we'll do with these. We'll do we'll do a smush with uh, with two with a hexagon and a square. Put a little more on there. All right, let's heat it up first. together, if you will. No? Not too much. <laughs> Not too much happened. We'll have to do a super tilt on this one. Super tilt's always fun. It always stretches out the paint and gives it some movement. just fun. It's just always fun doing just nice, simple, classy stuff. A lot of people don't like a lot of flim flam and all kinds of crazy stuff, you know? I really just said flim flam. If you're wondering how much to sell your coasters for, we always sell them for five dollars. Um, no matter, you know, when it's stuff like this, five bucks. Now, if you want to put gold leaf in there, if you want to, you know, spray paint it a, a fun color, put some gold leaf, put a clear down, and then add something, you could sell a, a set of four coasters for forty dollars. Easy. If they're all nice, you put them together as one package put a little string around them, you know, make a little box for them. $40 all day, people will buy that. Uh, Betty, I used, uh, I'm using just resins black. That's it. Um, and then for this magenta looking color, Cirrus, I'm not sure. <laughs> it's by Color Passion. And we sell both of those colors on our website. All right, so. I don't know what to do with this because you know that it's not going to really do anything once it hits this black. So I'm thinking maybe we'll just put some gold on each of these and let it set and there'll be a little, I'll be a little matching couple. Oops. I know I 
I probably need to move my phone because it's sitting right next to the microphone and I'm sure you guys are really tired of hearing that. All right, let's put a little more on here because I want to make these nice and dummy. And it's good when you have, uh, you put a little bit too much uh, resin on your coaster. Whoops. Um, if you have the ones that we sell, these cut, either it's such a hard edge that the resin doesn't want to go over it. I mean, it'll find its way off of it too much, but um, normally it just kind of stops and that makes like a nice little dome. And that way you know you don't have to go back and um, put a flood coat on them because it's you know taken away or a little divot because you didn't put enough resin on there um, and that's one thing another thing too like if you're using this gold like i'm going to um, you definitely will have to put a flood coat over them because this gold sits on top it's a it's adhered to it but it sits on top and I do not suggest sanding it before you do a flood coat because you will scratch that gold. So be aware of that. And look how fun these are. These are just regular old, a fun color. Look how nice those turned out. All right, we're just gonna go for it here with this gold. I'm gonna shake this up again. put this in a plastic cup or it will melt. Do not put, this is basically spray paint. Let's just try to make some some veins here like for like like if you were do a countertop. Look how nice that looks, y'all. Nice and fun. Nice and clean. And now, oops. fun is that? <laughs> I was taking the stick out of the cup and it like hit the side so it dropped gold on there so I was like let's just roll with it. Let's just go with the flow man. Look at me, I sound like Erica. No worries, no worries. She has such an amazing, relaxed, chilled attitude. All right, I like that, y'all. That's super fun. And I have enough left. Let's make another one. Let's not waste this stuff. I have 
have more resin too. I need to turn these lights up. This is driving me crazy. It's getting darker outside, so. <laughs> Keep turning the lights up. Honduras, but no. Bermuda Bay. Whoa, look at that. We're going to use some of that. Let's mix some of that up. That would be nice in that black. What do we got? Let's just put the rest of that in the black. Hope you guys don't mind this extra little um, coaster section here. <laughs> I want to do some more like that. That's so fun. And I want to use this color. It's a fun color. Seen it before. There's not a lot of resin in here, so you really have to use a lot. This is going to look like an 80s coaster. Let me let me go put these in the uh, dust-free zone real quick for you guys. And I'm going to have to turn that phone off. If you guys are wondering, we do sell these coasters on our website. Oh my gosh, I've got to get that phone. I apologize, you guys. Alright, I gotta take my gloves off to do that though. Hold on one second. Thank you, Nene. I do see the black and gold dry. Yeah, I can't wait to see those too. All right, so we'll do, I want to do another one of those. So we'll do that one separate. just joined us we started this what an hour ago and this resin is still amazing it's not warm it's not tacky very very awesome resin we're using stone coat countertops art coat two hour working time we we've, we've worked it probably 
three hours at the most one time. And Erica is very good at using resin that's setting up when we're doing like geodes or uh, for doing some like marble. You can use it. If you learn how to use it, you can really, you could use it. All right, let's see. What do I want to do? I guess we'll just do that on all of them. We'll put the black so that those colors can kind of blend together. that man I have friends that I don't see hardly ever and they live in Dallas but they're always working and some of them live far away like out you know just out on the outskirts and be tough to get down here all right so um, let's move this because I want to do another one of those drip ones with the gold and I don't want to get gold on that. I wouldn't be mad, but I could make those all day long. Black and gold, my favorite. As far as like just two colors go, like black and gold, I can use that all day. I would love to do some of these countertops in just black and gold. Sorry, I got some trash in there. All right, let's see what we can do with this color that we just made up, which looks so fun. Bermuda, what is it called? Bermuda Bay by Just Resin. I think that's a new color that we have. I don't even know if it's on our website, but if it is, you can check it out. <laughs> uh, hey, what's up, Beyond? She's in Alabama visiting her uh, mom and her sister. All right, so. So what is this? What is is the color passion a base or a top cell? I don't I don't remember those things. A base. So we want to put this in front if we're going to swipe over it. All right, I know we got some swiping paper over here somewhere. I just took some out of this thing. Ha ha! All right, let's heat it up a little bit, not too much. Whoa! What am I gonna do with that? Let's 
stretch that way out to Let's put some gold in that one. Super fun there. Like I would never outline a cell swipe, but I think that looks fun. All right, set that aside. Oh, I'm having fun, y'all. All right, so let's do that again. But let's put less of this color because I I think that really took over. So what I'll do. Do that. I'm going to blow on this one. All I'm doing is like wiping off the left. I don't feel like I have enough. Yeah. All right. I think that's it. That's super fun. All right. I'm going to take these to the, you know what? I'm going to get a, uh, we'll do that in a minute. I'm going to get a, uh, True color because I think that the that my camera is a little tan for my taste for these colors. So I'm gonna take my gloves off and do a true color real quick for you guys for uh, ATD's poor people.
And like I said, I will have to do a flood coat tomorrow uh, over this gold because the gold will, will uh, scratch off if you don't uh, protect it. That is super fun. What do you guys think of that? I feel like... Well, I feel like all my cameras are like really tan right now. And I don't understand why. How does that look? That looks a little better, right? That's like the 80s right there. We got like the 70s. A little bit of the 70s mixed with 80s. Wants to buy swipe coasters. Oh, okay. Sorry. Well, um, I guess what you need to do is send um, your info to our phone. <laughs> Yeah, put the, uh, will somebody put the uh, the red phone, the phone number, and just send a text, and if she doesn't get it in Alabama, she'll get it here, and um, yeah, these will be at least a week before we'll be able to send them anyways, because we have to flood code them. Includes our um, what is that called? Oh my gosh, this is so light. Our day. I can't spell. <laughs> so funny like the dogs move wherever you whatever you do like they move um, where, wherever you're at they'll move if you're walking if you're carrying something the cats they they not only just lay there but then they put their feet out so that you definitely will trip over them like it's a definite For sure. Thanks, cats. Appreciate it. Sorry, I'm putting this resin in this mermaid tail. <laughs> Sorry. Ooh, that is dark too. I look like I got a tan. Nope. I'm going to look like this when we get back from East Law. I'm not a fan of that, so I'm going to lighten up for you guys. Okay. 
Okay, so, well, that was fun. Hope you guys had a good time. Um, thank you, Teresa. Thank you, Shane. Thank you, Nene. Thank you, Vamp. Um, Nene. Yeah, I said that. Okay, okay. Anybody else? Mm -hmm. All the mods. Thank you. And anybody else that helped out. Um, thank you, Rumple. All right, so um, what is tomorrow? Saturday. Ooh, the Stars play tomorrow. Stars play Tampa Bay, Stanley Cup playoffs. I'm a little excited about that. I'm a little bit excited. Um, my Stars haven't been to the Stanley Cup playoffs in 20 years, but they did win it the last time they were there. So I'm just saying. <laughs> so I'll just say that we're rooting for the stars. All right, you guys have an awesome Friday night. Um, please be safe out there. Um, be kind of one another. You never know what somebody's going through. Um, have an awesome Saturday, Australia, and uh, I'll see you sometime tomorrow. I'm not sure what time. I'll probably go a little early because I think the game starts at like 6.30 or something like that. So uh, I'll probably go live during the daytime and do a flood coat on these coasters and do that, um, what you call it, the gold leaf around the rim of the piece. So thank you, Lisa. Almost four years later. Oh, keep it a good fight, fam. <laughs> thank you, Shane. You guys are awesome. Thank you, T, Evelyn, Megan, uh, Swamper, Rumple, Manuel, what's up? Um, sure. TZ, you guys are awesome. Have a good night. We'll see you later. Bye.